Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the bush trip, the rove, the Newfoundland passage bush trip, all of those words in some kind of order that probably wasn't the right order, but who cares? Let's go from Fogo to Gander International. Well, as you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Let's go visit Gander. Leaving fear of golfing out, Fogo here. Fear of Gander out, Fogo. What are you doing, plane? What are you doing, plane? Come on, stop, stop complaining. Just, just go forward, plane. Come on, that'll do. That'll do, plane. All right, so we want two nineteen for one forty-one. Come on, climb, climb. Uh, Stag Harbour. Now from Fogo Airport, set of heading to the south southwest and site Stag Harbour on the southernmost part of Fogo Island. That we will do, bush trip designer person. We shall do it with pleasure. With a pleasure. One forty one, huh? One forty one. Get our leveling off done. Let us do that. Was it Stag Harbor? Does it look like a stag? Do I look like a stag to you? Is this Stag Harbor? Well, is it? Why is that taking so long to show up? The second white panel so fond into our eyes. This must be Stag Harbor. Here we are. Yep, yeah, now we want 216. The 316. 216 for 316. A Fredericton. Maintain heading after passing over Stag Harbor, pass over Perry Island, and then cross Sir Charles Hamilton. Sir Charles Hamilton Sound to reach Fredericton. Built differently there. It's missing an I. Fredericton? Or is it Fredericton? Surely Fredericton. A small town supported by lumber and fishing. Of course it's supported by lumber and fishing. What else would it be supported by? Bees! Why not? Cows. Why not? Get the cows up here. Where you going, plane? Where you going? 216, please. 216. What do the Googles say? Fredericton, yeah, with an I. With an I, not without an I. You misspelt it, bush trip designer person. To say the bush trips have been okay. The, the, some of the earlier bush trips had, uh, you know, severe typos and things in the wrong spot and the wrong instructions and things. But the last few bush trips, all these American ones. North American ones have been pretty good. I think that might be the first typo I've seen in ages. So, golf clap, bush trip designers, golf clap. Look at this. 
natural beauty. It's so nice. Uh, so beautiful. Alright, I think this is Fredericton, just this little inlet, this little harbour. A couple of little houses on the edge of the water there. What say you, a uh, purple arrow? We haven't quite done 3 minutes 16, but. We have arrived. There we go, and now 214. Now, having just uh, praised the bush trip designer, so we've just gone 219, 216, 214. This is the final leg segment of this leg. Uh, 10 minutes 25 in this direction to a CYQX Gander International. Gain a visual on Gander Bay and track its eastern coastline. Remaining well inland of the shore, sight the Gander River in Newfoundland and Labrador Route 330, which parallels it. Follow Route 330 to Gander International Airport. Gander International Airport has played important roles throughout its history. It was built in 1935 as it lies close to the New York-London Great Circle Route. In brackets, a Great Circle Route is the shortest distance between two points on a sphere, or a near-sphere object like the Earth. A strategic point during World War II, over 10,000 Allied troops were stationed at the location and more than 20,000 military aircraft stopped over at the airport to refuel. Post-World War II, it became known as the crossroads of the world, as commercial transatlantic flights would stop to refuel here. Bruh, a bit of information. Thank you, Bush Trip Designer. Good stuff, Gander International. There you go. Famous place, apparently. A mere 10 minutes in this direction. I don't think I reset my clock. God dang it. So, probably a minute and a half uh, off that. So, a mere 9 minutes from now. But this is definitely Gander Bay on the right. A Gander Bay confirmed. A goosey goosey as it's known by the locals possibly you never know but I did just make that up Goosey Goosey Gander oh, there's a poem You're like a kid's song Goosey Goosey Gander something oh, I can't think of it oh nos oh nos who cares And that's the end of the bay just over there. That's it. We're done with the bay. Look how calm it is today as well. 9.09am local time. Here on whatever season the bush trip was set to. We don't know. They don't tell us. Probably summer. Probably just no weather, whatever. You know? It does risk the immersion of the rove a little bit, given that it should still be all snowy up here. But we'll allow it. We'll allow it. A little bit of suspension of disbelief, you know. We're still flying the thing. We're still getting to know the area. We're still seeing it as it, you know, a good representation of as it is in real life. So, you know, good enough, eh? Good enough. In fact, we're seeing more of it because we've had some storms lately on the rove, that's for sure. Well, they're fun and spectacular. You don't see much, do you? done two minutes uh, 30. There's not much around here. There's Weir's Pond over on the left there. 
on the right is it say burnt lake so um you may think how can a lake be burnt but i have seen a lake on fire in real life let me explain there is a town called i think it was ballarat it was either ballarat or bendigo i think it was ballarat we had visited there with my family and there's a big lake in the center of town it's uh it's quite quite large and it was um quite full when we were there three years later we went to ballarat again and they're in the middle of a huge drought and the lake was basically empty the middle of the lake was now an island and that island was having a bushfire so what was underwater three years earlier was now on fire i don't think we were there for the bushfire but we saw images on tv but we were there when the the lake was quite dry and then i don't know a couple of days later there was a bushfire and, and the lake was on fire dude the world mate the world Um, we're following the road. This is the road below us. Well, just to our yeah, just below us and to the right. The 330. The good old 330. But otherwise, not much out here. No, nothing else. None of the lakes have got names. I'm guessing Gand is going to be quite big. Although if it, it's just the airport that was famous, uh, maybe not. Maybe there's just enough industry and housing and what not to service the airport. We shall see. We shall see. Maybe it's a big city. Maybe it's gigantic. Maybe it's huge. going plane. I'm trying to do the damn thumbnail here and you're flying off to god knows where. You're on, you're on your own reconnaissance. That'll do. I don't know why the drone was drifting off like that. It's never done that before, but hey, there you go. Why not be a pain, huh? Why not be a pain? Everything was going way too smoothly, apparently. So we've done five and a half minutes of what I figured would be about nine minutes, given that we, we, and by we I mean me, didn't start the clock properly. Well, that's my it. So we should be able to, we should be close to seeing it. We're about yeah maybe three minutes out it does look like some you know human carved out sections up ahead that could be the airport it is two large uh, perpendicular runways and then the third one almost bisecting them and i think that's probably the runway right in front of us surely uh yeah my Google's is telling me that's Gander. There's just the airport. A tiny bit of a town to the right. And then this giant airport. The airport's bigger than the town. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's just the airport. You know, you live in Gander. You know where you're working, right? You're either working at the airport or a local shop. That's it. That's some coolness right there. Because it was just a refueling place, there's no, you know, touristy stuff. Wow. People don't get off here, you know? They, they continue on. Probably not much need for vast customs houses and things either. There's no warehouses to, you know, that's incredible just an airport for refueling and it's a giant one too anyway we have arrived so let's slow her down let's just go straight in on runway what is this two two one perhaps we shall find out when we land upon it 
if we manage to land upon it. Well, let's floof up into the air a bit. Let's get the flaps down. Get the gear down. Come on, plane, what are you doing? There's no need to stop completely. There we go. Now we're going to zoom down. Little sneaky road to a little sneaky uh, Illuminati farm there. As you'd expect near this spaceport. I mean airport. Yes, no one mentioned the aliens. And then we uh, calmly drift our way in. I think we're going to be a bit short. Let's give her a bit of oomph. Just a little bit of oomph. Not all the oomph, just some of the oomph. Here we go. It is 2 1. Beautifully uh, deduced me by looking at the compass and knowing that it's 2 1. Right, there we go. Let's uh, power off. Float in. Arrive at Gander. Gander. Bush trip. Newfoundland. Leg four. Words all put together. Let's hope it registers. Survey says yes. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye.